Hi there, everyone. This is Ben Holmes. Today we got an email from Amelia in Australia who asked the question about how to use her RGB lights and get them to, to do chasers properly with the proper colors. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into Venue Magic and we're going to set up basically what she's got and get this going for her. First thing we need to do is we need to go in and we need to set up her fixtures. Uh, for this case, I'm just going to use generic. And we're going to go ahead and bring up her list of her generic fi fixtures. We've got these six channel ones here. The master dimmer, red, green, and blue, strobe, and internal programs. So we're going to set up master dimmer, red, green, and blue, and control internal programs. We're going to go ahead and do eight of these lights. So I'm going to do one. Okay. And then the next one we're going to do is we're going to do the CDS PAR 575, which just has red, green, blue, and a single uh, zooming channel. So we're going to do uh, an RGB. We're going to do four of these. So we've got 64 channels here. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to come in and set up some channel groups. Now what this allows us to do is this allows us to actually control things in unison. In particular, the RGB channels. Chaser RGB-1. I'm going to copy this text using Control C. I'm going to come up here and I'm going to pick my first RGB. And then we're going to set to, to be in unison. So we're controlling that entire channel in unison. New group, paste two. Grab our next RGB channel. New group, paste three. Our next one. Nope, come back here in unison. In unison, new group, paste four. One, two, three, four, new group, paste, five. Okay, so now we have our 12 chaser patterns, all with just the RGBs lights in them. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and click close here, and we'll go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and delete my uh, audio track for now, and I'm gonna add one more lamp track. Okay. So this is the situation. We're gonna go ahead and close that, open up our lamp preview bar here, and put it across the top of my screen. Okay, so what we would normally get with an RGB channel, I'm just gonna drag one RGB channel in here, is that if I do a lamp effect like a, I'll grab two ch RGB channels. One, RGB two, RGB three, there we go. Is that if I do a lamp chaser on just the regular RGB channels, it basically just gives me red, green, blue, and uh, white okay so it's not doing anything special here as part of the lamp chaser it basically is just controlling them all in that particular order so if i did a four channel uh, or if i did a uh, three channel four beat one it'd be real obvious to be red green and blue red green blue Okay, or if I did, um, and it does do some color mixing, but it's not really that, uh, you can't be that specific with it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and delete this lamp track, and we're gonna start over. Only this time, we're gonna start over with our chaser RGB lights. Okay, so I'm gonna delete these as well. Mm -hmm. 
come in here, select lamps. We're going to select all of our nice chaser groups here. Now what the Unison chaser group does is it basically allows us to specify uh, entire, an entire section of lights as if it was a single light. I'm going to drag all of these in here to my lamp track. Okay, so now if we do a lamp chaser on this, we'll just get a chaser of white colors. Okay, real basic, nothing fancy. We're going to switch to a 8 channel one here. As you can see, it's a lot more like a full RGB chaser here. So now we're just all getting white. So the next question is, is how do we actually get a color in there? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add an additional lamp track. One of the powerful features of Venue Magic is the ability to actually scale individual channels. So if I, what I do is I come in here to my lamp track properties, I'm in a channels, Select my channel here, go settings, and I set this to scale. I can just double click and get it to scale. And I click OK. Now I can actually set my color for that particular individual light. So I double click here and I get my handle and let's say I want to pick, oh, that looks like a nice green right there. Click OK. And we'll, we're going to copy and paste it over here. Okay, so now we have a green for this 18 seconds or so. So I click OK, come back, and you'll notice that this first RGB channel, when it shows up, is that green color instead of the white color. So what we're literally doing is we're literally scaling this white to be a specific color. So what I'm going to do is uh, take a few seconds here and actually add the rest of these in. And set the scaling. Now that we've got that, one of the nice things that I can do in Venue Magic in this with is I can actually copy this color everywhere else. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this color. Oops, I want to copy that and I want to paste it. Okay. Now back up and you'll see that my entire chase is now green. I can do the same thing. I can choose amber. I can choose whatever color I want uh, from my RGB color picker. And I can even transition from one color to another um, in the middle of the chase. So copy, paste, we'll just paste it on the last four here. And we'll go ahead and go back so you can see that these last four here are actually going to change more to a yellow. Okay, so that's the general idea. You can also, because you've, you've actually gone in and done this, uh, all of that uh, preview setting, you can even use things like paparazzi and the default uh, effects that we have to generate some really cool effects while you're doing a chaser. So have fun, uh, send in your questions and we'll get them answered. Talk to you later. Bye.